What up everyone, it's your man xman 87 here, bringing you another Marvel Legends news video on what I have for you today is the Drax and Moondragon figure reveals. I know, I know, I'm late with this news, but I just got back from vacation and this was revealed during my vacay, so I couldn't talk about it. But I had a great time with my family and was a much needed recharge, so now I'm taking the time to do just that as I want to talk about it. Also, excuse my voice as I lost it a little because I was at the WWE Monday Night Raw event last night screaming my lungs out. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun and since I'm back, it's time to get back to work. As always, leave a like to show your support for my channel, it's greatly appreciated. Now, let's talk about it. Going over classic Drax first, I'm so damn hyped for this. This version was in the back of my mind since we got some classic comic guardians this year, but didn't want to get my hopes up. And I couldn't be more happier with how he turned out. They went with a Caliban mold for the body base. They could have went with a modified Hulk body since some comic depictions showed him that big and some depictions he was smaller. So they could have went smaller than this if they wanted to. But this is the right size for my liking. And it's finally good to see the Caliban body being used again, which I think is their best brute-like muscular body in my opinion. They gave him new lower legs for those buccaneer boots, some new layered add-ons like his wristbands, belt and cape which all look very good. The purple and green color schemes just pop and will be eye-catching on the shelf. He's got two great portraits, one with a scowl and the other with an angry face. Honestly, that's all you would need for Drax expressions, plus two opened hands for additional accessories. Same ones that came with the Puff Adder Bath. I love everything about this figure, can't hate on it, it's well done. Hard for me not to like anything about it. If I had to point out one gripe that could be improved is the fingernails being exposed through the gloves. I always hated that. And maybe the skin tone on his face not matching the body spot on. Face looks a little more on the faded side, but I'll see how it looks in person for better judgment. All in all, <clears throat> it's a great figure and happy to get him this way as they could have easily decided to make him a bath in a classic Guardians comic wave. So I'm happy to see the Caliban body won't stay as a bath exclusivity. Still hoping to see a blue Venom on this body and a Riot redo, of course. Again, a great, solid looking figure. The daughter of Drax, Moondragon, is a first time in the line and one of my most wanted characters. She was going to be in one of my Marvel Legends wishlist videos I had planned. I was going to do a Top Heroes, Top Cosmic, or Top Females uh, wishlist. I just couldn't figure out how to categorize it. I didn't want to just do heroes just because so many will be left out. There's just so many characters in the Marvel Universe. Which is why I categorize things as such, but either way, she was on my wish list. This is a contemporary look for her over the classic. I do like the look, it just doesn't fit with Drax, so it's always frustrating to see modern mixed with classic. I just can't stand it. She's got a great head sculpt and just looks straight up like the character. Those earrings and makeup on point makes the head sculpt just stand out more too. The different green shader tones are nice with some metallic silver to pop with it. New upper torso, Hellfire Queen arm sleeves, which I like that the top part of the sleeve is sculpted, but those single jointed elbows have to go. Look at that bend. God, that elbow popping out like that it looks absolutely horrible. What else? Uh, new cape, new upper torso, shriek legs. It would have been nice if Madam Hydra's green matched this to modify since I'm still mad that figure didn't have pinless legs. Still, there are ways to tweak it to put a cloak over it. She comes with fists and what looks to be like new female open hands, finally. Not the same old rehashed ones we've been getting over and over again. Different from Spinnerets too. Hers was more uh, wall crawling like hands. So I know these are new new. Speaking of new, some new effects were needed for her. 
Oh god, I'm hating the sound of my voice right now. I sound like one of those hardcore granny smokers. Like, oh my god, I need some more nicotine. <laughs> I'm so sorry again, guys. <laughs> just bear with me. My voice is uh, <laughs> cracking a lot here. Uh, I just wished, um, uh, going back to Moon Dragon, uh, I just wished it was her classic outfit instead of this more contemporary look. Not because the old one was more skimpy, but you know me, I'm a purist. I'm all about the comic accuracy. After the Madeline Pryor bust, I didn't think they would go that route again anyways. But can someone clarify for me, because I could have sworn they said no more boob windows on female figures since Pryor didn't have one. Yet this figure has an open boob window that's almost like Power Girl. And when I say they, I think I recall Dan Yoon saying something of the sort in an Unparalleled Universe livestream. Also, this is open to the public, whereas Pryor was a HasLab where you can get away with something like that too. It's my mission to find out the Marvel Legends booby rule. Hashtag free the boobs. <laughs> Oh, joking aside, though, um, what I'm gonna do for uh, a classic Moon Dragon is take the body from the uh, Vampirella, Vampirella, however you pronounce her name, whatever, by Loose Collector, and just paint the red and black parts in gray, and then paint green over it with a primer and sealer. Um, I'm not the best painter, but I'll give it a shot, or get someone to do it professionally for me if I don't have the patience. Then just pop the head and cape on it and call it a day. Overall, I still like this contemporary look for her. I think it's a really solid looking figure despite some things grinding my gears. The set is available now for pre-order and is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. It retails for $49.99 and is slated for a September 1st, 2023 release date. So I got positive things to say as my final verdict here. I think the set is a good offering. Sure, it could have used more accessories, but for $49.99, we are basically getting a bath for $24 when you split the price. That's the normal cost of a regular figure nowadays, so that in itself, I consider a steal or close to. It's a damn good deal to me from my perceived value. I would have loved for some new effects from Moon Dragon or an alt head, but for now, I'll use my Storm Collectibles Liu Kang Dragon figure to complement her dragon form. Moon Dragon gets us closer to completing the Infinity Watch team, too. Drax is exactly what I wanted in a classic comic Drax. This just looks like a big fun figure to pulverize enemies on display. Second time reuse for the Caliban body and it's correctly chosen again on another character the right way. My on reveal rating for this set will be at a respectable 8.5 out of 10. I really love this set and I pre-ordered it right away. Now that I'm back, I have a small channel update to share. I'll be working on a few videos as I just got the Moffic Storm and Nightwing. My damn Mezco Keaton 89 Batman finally got here while I was away. So I'm excited for that. Might do a double review with that and the DC Multiverse Batmobile combined. I'll see. If there are any Batmans you'd like to see fit inside that one, then name them in the comments. Uh, if I have them, I'll try it. Trying to balance out more DC figures onto my channel. Uh, maybe the latest Mesco Superman. I might review that too. Um, and also I have an introspect sort of video on Valiverse Action Force. So those videos are on deck. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think of this Guardians of the Galaxy 2-pack? Are you copying, passing? What Guardians 2-pack would you like to see next? Hopefully we'll get Moon Dragon's lover, Philavelle, at some point, as that's one I've been really wanting. Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. Thanks for watching another Marvel Legends news video. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at xman87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.